Well, it's 50 years uh, since the last time we won the Junior A Championship this year as well. And it's a bit of history for the club, I suppose. Um, we have never had an intermediate and senior football team uh, in Moulin before. And I have to say, as I was saying, we were one game away from being knocked out of the competition. And we rallied around and we got our few more lads in from the hurling when the hurling finished. And look, the, I couldn't be more prouder of the lads they've done. A fantastic effort like and our average age of our team is 23 so look we're delighted we couldn't be happier and we'll bring the cup back and we'll celebrate that's number three for this year so we couldn't have went better for us yeah it probably augurs well a, a disappointing year for the club at senior level probably didn't hit the heights that you'd want to hit but it augurs well i suppose going forward that now you have a team in the first tier obviously senior and you obviously have a team in the second tier so a good platform for you know for over 40 guys i suppose to to you know to, to be playing at a high standard and to, to bring the club along yeah, yeah, Moulin is a massive club. We have a lot of players there. We have 50 plus players training in the seniors. And the seniors might have had a bit of a bad off year yet, but you get, you, you get that. Like, we've had a lot of senior championships with the club, and I've been involved in a good few since 2002. And I'm really, I suppose, I'm trying for this cup since 2002 with um, Eddie Cosgrave and myself went out in 2002 and we gave it a lash then. But here's to next year for intermediate, and hopefully, imagine we could win an intermediate and go up to try and compete with our senior team but that's a long way off I suppose but if we can just look back to the game today I know it was a late switch uh, I suppose this morning being moved from Brough to here given the weather conditions a difficult difficult game you, I suppose you're a bit slow to settle but uh, Brian Carson and I suppose Mark Dwyer stepped up with a couple of cru crucial scores in the first half that gave you the platform then to yeah. go and, and win it yeah two fantastic players Brian and Mark are they've, they've led by the front all year long like it's been a, it was a horrible day out there today we got the change out to Kilmallock which I honestly think would suit us a bit better. It's a bit of a wider field and it suits the, the young fellas running up and down the field. But at the end of the day, we'll play in any field and we'll win in any game. Yeah, the, the Crooms passage to the final, uh, goals won their quarterfinal, goals won their semi-final. You managed to not only keep them uh, keep, keep goals out from them, but you got two goals at crucial times yourself. I think the second one, a, real, a really good counter-attacking move, especially given the, the weather conditions as we alluded to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Croom are a fantastic team. They've won most of their games this year, and they've, got many, uh, they've won every single game this year, sorry. And it was all by big goals. So our main ploy from the start was to concede no goals. That's what we were going out. We were, if we didn't concede goals, we thought we could take the game. Yeah, and uh, describe to me, maybe, if you can at all, what, what will be this evening like uh, around Mona Lee and Castletroy area? Mayhem. Mayhem. <laughs> okay, enjoy it. Thanks very much. Thank you so much.